everyone, Fed here, and welcome back to another Redstone tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'll be showing you guys how to build a working ATM. Now, I've built these in the past. It was one of actually my first big Redstone creations that I ever made. I think I made like three of them, but I'm pretty sure none of them work anymore, and I just helped. <laughs> so, let's go ahead and just show you how everything works here. So, I'm going to go ahead and put in 2692, and then I'm going to click the button and send it down and now if we wait just a little bit the minecart will show up with our items inside you can see a little torch right there because i didn't hide up any of the redstone so it should come up there we go and then if i go inside of it we get our key card back and then we have whatever we have inside of our chest now that's one thing you have to keep one spot open for the key card but that makes it a lot smaller and then we just go ahead and click the button and send it back and now you know if we want to go to a different one let's go ahead and put in Let's put in the 7777. <laughs> Click that one. The chest will go down. They all come at the same exact speed. So we just got to wait another like, you know, four to five seconds. And then the next one will show up. So here we go. This one has iron in it. And then it has our key card inside of it. And then, of course, there is prevention. So in case anyone wants to break it. So let's say I want to put a crafting table inside this thing. And then click the button. Oh, you know, uh, we'll send it back anyway. It doesn't matter. So let's say I want to put a crafting table inside this thing. Nothing will show up. I'll just go back here to show you that nothing is coming up here. See, these are all of my key card stuff right here. And as you can see, none of them came because that was the wrong item. And you also can't funnel in a bunch of items at the same time to break it as well. But hopefully you have friends in your world that won't break it. So here is all of the redstone behind it. I'm using kind of like a, a full-on minecart system for this ATM because I found a weird way to make minecarts work and that's on scaffolding scaffolding is actually pretty cool when it comes to minecarts and if you are going to build this thing and you don't have friends that are going to break anything in your world so you don't need that prevention system you really don't even need to build this yellow circuit right here or this pink circuit right here that's just to prevent people from over flooding it with stuff or putting the wrong items in there that's all that's for this whole thing pretty much just works off this blue circuit right here and this orange circuit and this is also one of those builds where i will not be giving a definite spacing or a resource list because this is kind of like uh if you're bored and you just want to put something weird in your world well here you go you really don't need an atm but it's kind of fun just to build one so let's get started on this thing now even though i'm not going to give the resources and the spacing for this thing because like i said it's kind of like <laughs> you're just building this for fun in your world if you do want to put it into a certain area of your world we're just going to take out some scaffolding and come up seven one two three four five six seven like that and then a block out right here and this is where the minecart is going to be showing up with your key items so right here is where that minecart will be showing up so now you have an idea of where this atm is is going to be going so i'm actually going to get rid of this part right here but we are going to leave that seven high scaffolding and then we're actually going to put another one right next to it like that next we're going to swing to the backhand side of this scaffolding and place a redstone block off the left hand side and then place a piece of scaffolding to the side of that redstone block and then right next to this one one block up from it we're going to come out two one two and then do that all the way up interchanging them so right here is going to be our first atm then our second then this is going to be our third well i should say our key card items this one's going to be our fourth this one's going to be our fifth and then this one right here it's going to be our six and then we're just going to come up one more right here for now next up we're going to take out our powered rails and place a powered rail starting from the bottom right here and go all the way up in between every single one then we're going to take out some normal rails and place our normal rails off the side of our scaffoldings. There we go. And then we're going to come out one more block from each side of our scaffolding. Take out your powered rails and place powered rails on top of each one of these blocks. And then go ahead and place a block up in front of the powered rails just like this next up we're going to swing back to the front hand side and we're going to come down three rails from that powered rail one two three next up what i want you to do is break this block right here underneath that scaffolding and we're going to place a piece of redstone right down here so take out your redstone place a piece of redstone right down here inside the hole then we're going to take out a detector rail. So go to your rails, take out a detector rail, place it right here. 
Then we're going to take out our power rails once again and our redstone blocks. We're going to break this block, place a redstone block, powered rail, and then place in a full block right next to it. So this is actually going to be the pink circuit. So I'm going to make that pink for now. And now we can go ahead and fill in all of our different ATM key cards. So my card chest, it should stop there. That's going to be the first one. This one will be the second one. Then this one will be the third one. Fourth one. Fifth one. And this is why it takes so long because the minecart has to fall down here and then go around it to get up there. So, and then last but not least, the sixth one. But that also makes every single one come at the same exact time. So there is all of our minecarts in place. Next up, we're going to set up the hoppers, which will call our minecarts and also put our key card back inside the minecarts when they come up. So we're going to come right here and off the power rail that our minecarts are on. We're going to go ahead and crouch and go ahead and put in our hopper like that. Well, you don't really need to crouch on the first one, but you might as well just do it because you have to do it for the second one. So one, two, and it should go right into the side like that. Because if you didn't know, if you throw an item into the hopper, it can actually go right into the side of a minecart with a chest instead of going into the top of it. So there we go. Let's go ahead and place in the rest of these hoppers. So right off the side of the power rails. One, two. Same thing here. Two. Now that our hoppers in place, we can go ahead and do our circuit for our hoppers. Now each one's gonna be the exact same, so it shouldn't be too hard. We're just gonna come out a block from the back hopper, place a redstone comparator coming out of it. Then we're gonna take out some, you know, let's go ahead and do it here. We don't need to do it for the first one, but I'm just gonna keep it all the same. We're gonna place a glass block in front of it, a block up, and then place in a piece of redstone here, here, and then place a redstone torch off the side. This will lock this hopper right here. Then what we're gonna do is just come out another block right here, place in a piece of redstone, a block down with a repeater on one tick delay, place a block up in front of that repeater, a block down, with a piece of redstone like that. Now we don't want these two connecting, so we're just gonna place a block right above it. And now we're gonna do this same exact thing for every single one. So we're just gonna come up a block right above this comparator, place another comparator and do the same exact thing. Glass block, block, two pieces of redstone, two blocks over, one, two, block up, place in another piece of redstone right here, place in our repeater on one tick, Place a piece of redstone right here. Make sure these two do not connect. So just place another block like that. Then place your redstone torch off the side of this block. And again, one more time. So block, glass, block, two blocks, one, two, block up, redstone right here, redstone here and here and here. <laughs> uh, repeater on one tick the light, redstone comparator, and then place your block here to disconnect them. And now we're going to do the same thing we did here on this side so i might just skip through this side because guys it's just the same exact thing we're coming out of the back hopper except we're going this way instead so you know redstone comparator glass block block oh wait did i put the redstone torch on this one no i did not <laughs> now that i think about it, i'm like wait i didn't put the redstone torch over here so good thing i remembered to do that so make sure you get those redstone torches in as well so you know i'm gonna do that right now so i don't forget about it <laughs> so block you know redstone redstone then just come out, you know, three blocks. One, two, three. Block up here. Block down. Redstone. Repeater. Redstone. And now I'm going to go ahead and fill in the rest. All right, I'm back. And I just went ahead and, you know, finish the rest of this up. Now comes the fun part of putting in our key cards into each hopper to make sure that, you know, it only calls in a certain hopper. Now, I just went ahead and stole all the stuff out of my hoppers, all my old key cards that I made, because you are going to have to do two stacks of 64 for each one of them to get this thing to work. The reason why you need two of them instead of just one, because we are using a minecart, you know, uh, I mean, uh, yeah, a chest inside a minecart to go ahead and bring our key cards to each hopper. And since we're doing that, it doesn't work like a hopper going into a hopper it's a minecart with a chest going into a hopper so i had to change a few things up to make this thing work so you know just get out an anvil go inside your anvil you can actually use whatever item you want you don't have to use paper but you know just put your paper in there rename it it should only cost one level i'm pretty sure to rename it so you know one two three you can even make it as long as you want it really doesn't matter and then you know go ahead and make two stacks of the same one though so just remember don't make it super hard or annoying for yourself because you do need to make at least two stacks for this thing. 
and you should also rename an item you you only have to do 24 since we're only doing six but if you want to do a stack of 64 in case for later on if you want to make this thing bigger big well if you make it smaller then you definitely don't need this many but if you want to make it bigger then i recommend you know making more but you know just take any item like a dirt a stack of dirt or something and rename it i just made mine item block so now what we're going to do is go into the first hopper that's going into the side of our mine cart with a chest I'm going to place our first stack of 64 in here. Now, I neatly set up mine like this so I don't accidentally, you know, mix them up. So, my first one is going to be 2692. So, I'm going to go ahead and place that inside my hopper. Then, what you're going to do is take out your item that you renamed whatever and just fill in the rest like that. And we're going to do that on every single one. So, this one right here is going to be 1526. Oh, I almost forgot. <laughs> and we also have to put our four items in there. There we go. And... If you did 24 like me, you have to make sure you don't accidentally put an extra one in there. So let's go into this one next and go ahead and place it in our four sevens. And then I'm going to go ahead and fill in the other side real quick. All right. So I went ahead and filled up the whole first rows. Next, what we're going to do is go into the hopper behind it. And we're going to take out the key card we need. I'm going to go ahead and place in four. And then on the last, well, on the first one, I should say, we're going to place in 18 of them. So it works just like any other you know auto sorting system so 18 and 4 now the reason why i told you to make extra key cards because if you're doing this for your friend or for yourself it well not for yourself because you won't obviously try to break the thing but if your friend wants to be like you know try to break the thing or do something you know dumb they might <laughs> they might lose their key card it might take their key card from them because that's what it's going to do it's going to prevent you from mixing them up you know breaking it so sometimes if you know if they want to auto click and like try to put dirt in there a comparator and their key card they're going to lose their key card <laughs> just telling you now so it's good to have a little extra on hand so we're going to go ahead and now fill in the rest of them so this one right here should be our 15 to 6 so same thing place an 18 at the front because it works just like any auto sorting system and then four at the back and honestly, you don't even have to put the key cards. I just do this. You don't even have to do that. You could honestly put dirt there too if you want. Well, uh, you would have to make another item still and do it. That's why I don't do it. <laughs> and now uh, this one's going to be 777. Oh, why did I just do that? There we go. And then 18 at the front. And then I'm going to go ahead and just fill in the other ones. And if you accidentally put an extra one in, don't worry. It's just going to funnel to that mine cart. And send it up here. Well, actually, yeah, do worry about it. Because then you got to break the mine card and put it back in. Because <laughs> we don't have everything else set up yet. Wait, do I? No, no, I don't. So don't do that. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and fill in the rest of these. Now we're going to set up our other rail, which will send our key card to its designated area. So we're going to take out our scaffolding once again. And then right next to this one, we're going to come up seven again. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Same thing here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then we're going to place a redstone block up right here. And then we're going to place in two scaffolding going towards that hopper. So if you want to, you can actually just go right off the hopper. Oh, wait. That's right. It has to connect to the scaffolding. So you cannot do that. <laughs> so we're just going to place two there. Two there. And we're just going to connect those all the way to each hopper. There we go. Forgot that scaffolding falls. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Even though I built this whole thing and I was having problems with that sometimes. Now we're going to take out our powered rails and right off the redstone block. Just go up in the middle with your powered rails. And then bring your powered rails going all the way to the top of your hoppers. There we go. <laughs> Trying to figure out the word for hopper for a second. Go. Just like that. And you know what? Also, I forgot. Since this doesn't have another layering up here, we're just going to take out this block and place one right above that comparator. Because we need our minecart with a chest to go back and forth all the way to the top. So now we can go ahead and test it out real quick just to make sure everything is working good. So we're going to place our minecart with a chest right here. And let's send it up. So up and up and up and up and up. There we go. So everything is working fine. And I'm going to break it. There we go. <laughs> so everything is working good. So now we're going to go ahead and take out our scaffolding once again. We're just going to come up one more right here over this because now we have to place another piece of scaffolding coming out the side of this one then we're going to go ahead and take out some chests then right in the corner over here we're going to place in two chests so one two take out your hoppers place a hopper right here going into the side of your chest 
and then place another hopper going into the side of this one. Now, what this does is collect any items that aren't key cards. So if your friend throws in dirt or, or something stupid, <laughs> it's going to collect inside here. Because I say that because if they're throwing dirt in there, they're trying to break it. I, <laughs> they're trying to break it, and that's not nice. So next up, we're going to place a block up right next to that hopper. Place in a powered rail on top of our hopper. Place in a normal rail right here. Then place a power rail coming out of that. Then we're going to come up another piece of scaffolding right here. Oh, that's right. we got to come up with scaffolding. So <laughs> come up with some scaffolding right here and then connect it right over. And then another piece right there. Then we're going to bring it up with a powered rail. And you know what? Nope, that's not supposed to be a powered rail. That has to be a detector rail. So go ahead and take out a detector rail. And place a detector rail here. Then we're going to go ahead and place in a normal rail here come a block out right here place in another rail right here and then come out two blocks place a block up and break that and then we're gonna come right down here we're gonna place in a block with our rail block powered rail and that should land right underneath it let me just double check to make sure yep it will fall right on top of our powered rail right here so you know what actually so what, let's actually put a redstone block here with a powered rail and then a block up like that. So now if I go like this and I just send it up that way, fall to the bottom, comes back up top, and then it should stop at the bay. So boop, there we go. Perfect. So I mean, right now we have our key cards in and we have the minecart that brings the key card down. So all we have to really do is just finish up this one part right here just to send our minecarts back up into their you know respectful bays and then pretty much the prevention systems and then we're going to be done so first things first where our chest and power rail are right here we're going to go ahead and break that power rail and then we're just going to place in a rail then coming out from that we're going to place a detector rail here but we can't have it on a scaffolding block but now that we have all our scaffolding in place we can now break this one and it won't ruin anything place in our block right here and then we're actually going to need a detector rail and place our detector rail right on top of that and now be very careful here. The reason why I waited this long to do this part is because we needed enough scaffolding to make sure, you know, nothing breaks. If we break the wrong scaffolding, all of this comes down and <laughs> we don't want that to happen. So right underneath our detector rail, we're now going to go ahead and break this scaffolding. Like I said, just break this one like that. You should be fine. And we're just going to come out a couple more blocks right here. And now we're going to take out some redstone. We're going to place redstone right here, right here. Place a repeater. We're not going to go any further than this right here, but we're going to need this later. So I'm just putting it in place a repeater right there. Place a block up in front of your repeater block down two more out and then two more repeaters going this way on one tick delay. And we'll worry about that later. I just wanted to get that in now because we had to break scaffolding and that gets kind of scary breaking scaffolding because <laughs> it can make everything tumble down. Next up, we're going to take out some blocks of choice. I'm going to be using stone and stone stairs, and we're also going to need a sticky piston because right here is where our minecart is going to be stopping right here and then we're going to collect you know whatever item we want and then send it back so i'm going to go ahead and use stone and place a stone block right here and then we're going to come out three blocks from here one two three break the two middle ones watch out for breaking any extra scaffolding we don't want that to happen and place a sticky piston facing towards that block then right in front of this stone block right here we're going to place in a staircase backwards that's so we can go ahead and access it right here so you know what let's go ahead and take out some concrete blocks and a dropper because i'm going to build my atm right now just so i can get it in place so i'm going to be using some light gray concrete and we are also going to need a dropper for this part so a dropper then right here above this area we're going to go in and place in our dropper Oop. our dropper facing backwards towards our build so right down here is where the minecart's going to come and we go ahead and collect our items and then we're going to take out our light gray concrete if you're using this as well for your atm and we're just going to build it up right around this top area like that then right next to our dropper right here we're going to place a button i'm going to be using blackstone button make sure you i guess you could use a wooden one it really doesn't matter but the wooden buttons keep a longer pulse which i kind of don't want so i recommend just using a stone button or a blackstone button next up on the other side of where this button is we're going to come over here i'm going to need a redstone torch for this <laughs> we're going to come over to this side and place in a redstone torch and then a block over to the sticky piston and place in two pieces of redstone. There we go. So now when I click the button, boop, 
it will pull that back. So now we can actually go ahead and test it out to make sure everything is working. So, well, not everything yet because we haven't done this part right here, but I just want to make sure that the mine carts are working. We're just going to make sure that our mine carts work. So I'm going to go ahead and take out one of my key cards. So let's go ahead and just take out the 2692. I'm going to go ahead and go inside my mine cart and just place in that. Oh, that's right. I have to have power going to this so it doesn't send it. So we're not, <laughs> can't test it out just yet, just yet. This is a really quick and easy thing to do. So just take out some repeaters some redstone and a redstone torch. We just have to lock the hopper underneath it for now. So we're gonna come up to here where this detector rail is, place a block next to it, place a piece of redstone and place a redstone torch off the side of it. Then we're gonna come down a block and place in two blocks from this powered rail, one, two, and then a block up next to that hopper. Next place a piece of redstone and then a repeater set it to four ticks delay. And now that will lock the hopper so the item doesn't funnel in. So now we're gonna go in there place in our key cards and as you can see it did not funnel down this time and we're just going to send this in so it should activate this mine cart with a chest right there and send it up to our atm so let's go ahead and click the button it's going to go down it should activate it there it goes now they're both going to go up and then it should stop right there so now we could collect so now we can go ahead and collect our pin there we go and then we can go ahead and send it back Oh, that's right. I have to have a block here. <laughs> Got to put a block there. There we go. And now we can go ahead and send it back. And there we have it. So those are going to be working. So, I mean, if you want to stop here and just double check to make sure all of your, you know, your mine carts with a chest are working, I highly recommend doing that. I've built this thing like four times now, so I'm pretty uh, positive I didn't get anything wrong. But, you know, just check it. Make sure everything is working before, you know, you start cleaning it up and doing all this stuff and then going, oh, man, now it's not working because this is the best time to look at it because everything is open right here. It's going to remain like this anyway, but everything is nice in the open. You can see everything so that you can go into the hoppers that might be wrong. <laughs> just giving a heads up there. You might want to check them all out. So next up, what we'll be doing is making a line of hoppers from this dropper right here at the front where our key card is going to be going and hooking it right to the side of this mine cart with a chest. So we're gonna go right off the side of the power rail underneath it. If you wanna remove the mine cart with a chest for now, you can, but make sure it goes off the side of the power rail. So as you can see, that little notch is going into the side of the mine cart. And then we're gonna come out right above this chest, like that, come all the way down to that dropper. So now we have a line of hoppers that are all connecting into this mine cart with a chest. So I mean, if you want, <laughs> if you want to test that out, it really doesn't matter, but let's go ahead and just do it real quick place our key card in here click the button and actually it might funnel into this hopper right here and into that chest yeah it did okay so <laughs> i was like wait a second i did not hook that up yet so we're just going to need a few comparators repeaters redstone where i know i have a comparator in here somewhere there we go okay <laughs> so coming out from this hopper right here we're just going to place a block place a redstone comparator place a block up in front of that redstone comparator with a redstone torch coming off the side. Do I have a redstone torch over here? Yes, I do. It's right here. There we go. Place a redstone torch coming off the side of it. Then we're going to place two blocks over like that. Place a repeater coming out of that redstone torch. Set it to three ticks to light with a piece of redstone on top of it. Now, all this does is if someone puts in, you know, multiple items while the mine carts away, it will unlock this, letting the items fall down into that collection chest. Next up, we're just going to come to this side, place a block, place a piece of redstone, and then that's it. So, you know, let's go ahead and just give a little a little bit of a demonstration. So, I'm going to put my key card in there. And then I'll just throw one of the items into the hopper real quick. So, I'm going to throw my key card in there. So, as you can see, while the mine cart is away, there it goes. Let's go ahead and just throw another item in there. This will still come on. And now, it will let the item go into that chest. So, that's all it does. It's just collect it. Because if someone's trying to break it, you don't want that to happen. And, hey, look, we got our chest. So, <laughs> let's go ahead and take our key card back and then send it back. And, boop, bye. And then next up, we're just going to set up a lock so someone cannot, you know, place a key card in there while there's a mine card with a chest already here and send another one up. So what we're going to do is right next to our drop right here, we're going to place a block. Well, I should say right next to our detector rail right here, we're going to place a block up with a piece of redstone on top of it. Next up, we're going to come a block down. So come right above where this repeater is, place in a repeater going into the side of that block. Come out three blocks. One, two. Well, just come out two, actually. One, two. Place a piece of redstone. Place a redstone comparator going into that redstone. And now we're going to build a hopper dropper T flip flop. So we're going to take out our droppers. Place a dropper facing up right here. 
Then going towards our build, we're going to place another dropper coming away. Place your dropper facing down. And then take out your hoppers and place a hopper going into the side of this dropper right here. Then next up, go into the bottom dropper and place your item. Make sure you don't place it in the top right now or else we'll lock it and won't be able to activate anything. This has to be off right here. If this is on right now, everything will be locked. And now we can come back down here to where these two repeaters were and hook it up to here. That's why we did that before. So we're just going to place a block in front of this repeater right here with a piece of redstone. Then we're going to come up a glass block next to this hopper, glass block here, and then place redstone up these two glass blocks and one more right on top of our dropper. Next up, we're going to come to the bottom right here. And remember this a long, long time ago, we placed that one bead of redstone right down here. <laughs> we're going to go ahead and break this block now and place a redstone torch off the side of the block. So now when our my carpet chest goes over this, as you see, we'll turn off the redstone torch and then turn it back on. Next up, we're just going to place a block right above that redstone torch, a redstone torch right above it. Make sure you don't go next to these mine carts because then you can activate that powered rail and we don't want that happening. So make sure you keep it in this line right here. Come up a block. And now we have to make sure the last torch is off. So if I place a torch here right now, it will be on and activate this and we don't want that happening. So we're just going to go to off to the side this time. Place a block right here on top of it. And then come off the side of this one right here and place another redstone torch there. And I don't know. That's what I... Uh, I accidentally activated it and I didn't want to do that. So let's see. Is this the 2692 one? <laughs> oh, well, there's nothing in them right now. So I guess it really doesn't matter. Thank goodness I don't have anything in them right now. So I can just send that back. <laughs> I accidentally hit them with my body like this and they went like... Oh, I almost did it again. But you know what? Let's go ahead and quickly fix that right there there we go <laughs> oh yeah look and it turned on our lock system so now if i put my item in here so i could actually show you how this works so as, as you can see right now it is locked so when i click this button as you see nothing happens it doesn't push the item out it has to unlock so when now when the minecart goes down here it now unlocks it so now i can go ahead and quickly show you how all of this works all together so let's go ahead and place in our key card like that Let's go ahead and send it through. So now it's going to send that through. Activate my minecart. They're going to come back up at the same exact time. And then once it gets up here into the collection bay, boom. As you see, it locks it. And it comes back a little bit right before this one. So now everything's locked. So now if I try to place an item in here and send it through. As you can see, it won't do anything. So it will make sure the minecart gets back there before it sends up another minecart. And then both those minecarts hit each other and then break stuff when we don't want stuff to break. And you know what, guys? That's it. You're completely done. So now all we have to do is just clean up the area and make our ATM and make sure it looks nice from the backhand side. And I don't really say, you know, oh, you can leave now if you want to. Do not leave yet. <laughs> I'm going to make a nice little clean looking ATM for you. So right down here, we're going to place in a sign. And then off the back of that sign right there, we're going to go ahead and place in a painting off the side of it. That's just so we can't see any of the redstone in there. Then we can go ahead and place some stone around. Next up, take out your color of your ATM, place it right off the back. And then we're going to go ahead and make this right here. <laughs> I made this little like screen looking thing with a banner. So I'm going to go ahead and place my banner in real quick. <laughs> my little ATM screen. So to make this screen is pretty easy, actually. All you need is a white banner. And we're going to need two black dyes. So, you know, just get out two black dyes. And then we're also going to need our loom. So let's go ahead and take out a loom, not a cyan <laughs> banner. So just take out a loom, place in your white banner, place in your ink. There we go. And that's the first one we want. So let's go ahead and take that. And then we're going to place it in one more time. Place in our ink. And then we're going to choose this line one right here. There we go. And that's it. And that's how you make that little, like, screen-looking thing. <laughs> and then we're just going to place a sign above it. Skip down one. And then type out ATM. And there we have it. So now we can go ahead and add in a couple more blocks right here. And then I also like to make the back wall some brick blocks. Now, you can come out one like this but when you get over to this side over here you're gonna have to go back out a little bit more so what I, <laughs> what i'm trying to say is if you want to make your atm you know jut out of the wall by one you don't have to but if you want it to look like this then right when you get when you get when you get over here 
next to this, you're just going to have to come out one like that to prevent hitting any of the redstone. But if you also want to, you know, you can just go like this. You can actually put it... Well, a lot of ATMs are actually in the side of the wall. So it doesn't look too bad being right in the side of the wall as well. But that's it, guys. You are completely done. So let's go ahead and just test out. So take out that hopper again. <laughs> so let me go ahead and put this one in right here. Send it down. So 7, 3... I'm pretty sure that's the second or third one on this side. So let's see. I was completely off. <laughs> so here comes the my card comes up. And we can go ahead and send it back down. And then, of course, we have our, you know, detection system so nothing breaks. So let's just throw a bunch in there and, and you know, rapid click. Like that. Put all the items through. And that will send the my card down. Don't worry about that. And then it will collect all of the items inside of here. And there should be one more inside that hopper right now because it's locked. But I see all the items got collected down here. None of the mine carts were sent up because nothing. And none of our key card chests were sent up because, well, we didn't have a key card inside of it. But there you guys have it. That's how you build a working ATM inside of Minecraft. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace.